so I'm doing something kind of cool here at the end of summer. Um, a guy named Lazarus Lake. Um, it's kind of his adopted name. His original name and real name is Gary Cantrell. He uh, started a variety of races back in Tennessee, I believe. And one is called the Barclays Marathons, which is arguably the hardest ultra marathon in the world. It's these 20 mile loops through the through the forests there and only like 15 people in the history of the race have finished it because it's so hard. But he decided to walk across the United States this summer so he started on the East Coast May 10th and we, my friend Ty Draney, who's an ultra runner and did the Barkley Marathons, um, didn't finish, um, said hey I think he's walking across Wyoming um, right now this week and he needed some support. He's just been relying on people, word of mouth and stuff, to jump in and help him move along and help carry his stuff. He has coolers of food and stuff in here. And uh, I'll show you right here real quick. So we have a whole bunch of gear in here. And then we just have his coolers in here with food and his small suitcase, a food bag, there's uh, a lot of drinks in here. He likes Dr. Pepper. So. We picked him up from a hotel in Riverton, drove him back up near Shoshone where he left off last night and somebody else had helped him to get to Riverton and then we're working with him the next two days to hopefully get to Du Bois. So he just kind of relies um, organically on people jumping in and helping him on different points along the way so it's pretty cool um, he's a really interesting guy but we're just working our way across um, from Shoshone to uh, up here to Du Bois over the next two days on the map so I'm just jumping ahead a mile and then I wait and he comes walking up uh, my friend Ty for now is walking with him then we might trade places we'll see how that goes but I just jump ahead a mile and he gets what he needs um, out of the car and then I jump ahead another mile and so forth so but he's walked over 2,000 miles all the way across the United States he's gonna finish up in Newport Oregon um, sometime in the next couple months so I would imagine so anyway maybe we'll talk to him a little bit and add that to this field trip and show you some different things as we move along i hit some when i sprayed it the ones that hit were caught in the blast went down yeah lots of mosquitoes I think where the shorts brush my legs, it rubs that stuff off. And yeah. Once it's gone, they can get you. Yep. Having fun? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I should keep moving. So I've been pulling off out here in the country. All these little farm fields have a little pull out here usually for the tractors and trucks to get in and out. So I use my odometer in my car to tell me I've gone a mile ahead and I just jump up a mile. And there they are walking. So he's walked two-thirds of the way across America already, <laughs> quite a ways. He said Nebraska just seemed like forever. So He walked right through Lusk, actually, which is where the headquarters of the Wyoming Virtual Academy is. I didn't know that until recently, but until today, actually. So. Fun, fun. Interesting. Makes me kind of want to do it some summer.
so I just traded off. I've been driving about five or six hours, just leaping up one mile at a time, and I traded off with my friend Ty, and he's gonna go up. Um, I'm catching up to Laz now, um, or Gary. Um, he's doing a phone interview right now. Different people will call him and talk to him about his trek across the country, so. I wasn't in a hurry to start out with him so they could do his interview. So I'm gonna walk with him for a while. So, it should be fun. Comes Laz for the first mile of the day under his belt. He's been walking about uh, trying to average 30 minute miles. Sounds pretty easy, but you'd stack that on for 92 days in a row. You can walk all the way from uh, Newport, Rhode Island, all the way to here. We're just here in uh, almost a crow heart and uh, about 30 miles, uh, 30, 35 miles outside of. Dubois. The world's <laughs> most superior mosquito. So how long you been walking now? Uh, this will be my 92nd day. That's a, that's a lot. Where did you start? I started in Newport, Rhode Island. Which seems like a lifetime ago. In a world away, it doesn't look anything like Newport, Rhode Island anymore. <laughs> I think that's why folks like living here, is because it doesn't. Uh, so, what are your, a couple of the highlights as you've been walking for the last 91 days? Oh, I. Of course, it was a big treat to cross to reach Buffalo because that meant I'd gotten through all the mountains in the north in the northeast. It was a big thrill to uh, cross the Mississippi River, although their footbridge shook and, and rocked and vibrated and was not very much fun to walk across. When you cross a bridge in a car, you don't realize they're not always all that sturdy feeling. I think you should have swam it, right, to, in, in, yeah. in the spirit of uh, this little project. So, what are, you, what are your thoughts as you head up into the mountains here and up over Togedy Pass in the next couple days? Uh, I am anxious to get to the mountains again because that's the last big challenge for me. I, I'm an old man and I'm not that, not as stout as I was in my youth. And there are doubts that I can make it across the mountains. And, you know, in life there's nothing more fun than a challenge. Yeah, you've bit, bitten off a good one here, so. In case you were wondering. <laughs> well, I wasn't supposed to make it this far, but here I am. That's awesome. So, they, uh, the doctor says I can't make it. I'm not capable of doing the trip. It's like a lot of things in life. I, I'm not capable of doing the whole trip. But I can do one day. So I just keep doing one day, and if I do that enough days, I'll be there. <laughs> 